In 2010, the Green Bay Packers squared off with their oldest and fiercest rival, the Chicago Bears, with a trip to the Super Bowl at stake. This is it right here now, baby. NFC Championship game. This is what you dream of all day long. There can only be one Super Bowl champion. Just one team that raises the Lombardi Trophy. To be the one means to play with the spirit of Vince Lombardi as a team worthy of bearing his legacy. With an historic win at Soldier Field, the league's smallest town team was once again back in the biggest game with a chance to win a record 13th NFL title. to think about one thing one for two for two weeks for two weeks think about one let's be one mind let's be one heartbeat for one purpose one goal for one more game one let's get it 20 weeks earlier the Packers began their season with a win but suffered a tough loss in the process. Ryan Grant, a 1,200-yard rusher two years in a row, was lost for the season with a broken ankle. He was one of 15 players placed on injured reserve in 2010. Clay Matthews kicked off his all-pro campaign with nine tackles and a career-high three sacks. Dick is hit by Matthews and sacked! Five sacks now by the Packer defense. Aaron Rodgers threw touchdown passes to Donald Driver and Greg Jennings as the Packers flew home 1-0. Rainbows left side, got Jennings, touchdown! First time Packers won here since 1962. That's a nice thing. More importantly, okay, we talked about last night. We came here for a win, and we came here to grow, okay? We got a lot to grow from. Growing from a playoff team into a Super Bowl contender would take great coaching from head coach Mike McCarthy. Offensive coordinator Joe Philbin and defensive coordinator Dom Capers. The Bills' offense was no match for Capers' defense. Oh, what a play for Clay Matthews became the first player in Packers history to record back to back three sack games. Clay Matthews relentless up the middle. Green Bay's offense took advantage of two Buffalo turnovers. Morgan Burnett comes up with it. Squeeze it, squeeze it, push it, push it, push it. Out of there, run! Run! Aaron Rodgers ran for one score. Makes the turn to the end zone. Touchdown! And threw for two. Hey, let's keep pressing him now, all right? Let's go, let's keep pressing. Snap to A-Rod, under a blitz, throws the left side of the end zone. victory here today at Lambeau Field for the Green Bay Packers. After a loss in Chicago, the Packers put on a Lambeau air show in week four. 13-yard touchdown to Michael Finley. Walks it over the left side. Heads up. Touchdown. Rodgers quick throw. Left side. Wow. Touchdown. He throws the left side on a third interception. Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson became the first player in NFL history to return an interception for a touchdown in five straight seasons. Touchdown! Green Bay was 3-1, and one, but injuries began to take their toll. The team's leading receiver through four weeks, tight end Jermichael Finley, was lost for the season. Back-to-back -back overtime losses dropped them to 3-3, three and three, setting up a primetime showdown with the defending NFC North champions. 
It was more than a game. It was a grudge match. In 2009, the Vikings had beaten the Packers in both meetings. Snap to Rodgers, four-man rush over the middle. End zone, touchdown! The rookie, Andrew Paulus. Blitz coming, Rodgers has it. Plenty of time, throws it over the middle. Touchdown, Jennings! On the post! And on. Favre gets the snap, blitz on. Bullets over the middle, intercepted! Intercepted a sensational break of the ball by Nick Collins. Favre was intercepted three times. Including a back-breaking touchdown return by number 55, Desmond Bishop. It's Desmond Bishop the, the Packers season was headed in the right direction. And the best of Aaron Rodgers was yet to come. In a week eight defensive deadlock, Green Bay's special teams came up big. Mason Crosby scored all the Packers' points, and punter Tim Maste pinned the Jets inside the 20-yard line five times. Green Bay's defense took care of the rest. Snap to Sanchez. He's got a sack. Brandon Chiller. Clay Matthews makes the sack. Gutsy performance by that defense. A 9 nothing shutout in the Meadowlands of the 5-1 New York Jets. Defense first. Shutout win on the road since 1991. That's a great job. In week nine, the Packers dominated the Cowboys. Green Bay outgained Dallas by more than 200 yards. Jackson cutting right to the five. Gets the snap. Looks around. Oh, the middle. Touchdown, Brett Jennings. The Packers were beginning to reach their full potential. With all three phases firing, Green Bay would be tough to beat. Here's the snap. The kid that quick throw, and it's intercepted. It's taken away. Thanks to Aaron Rodgers' four touchdown passes, this game got ugly for the Vikings. Throws the left side, coming back for it, making the catch. Fred Jennings 30 to the 25 20. Cutting left to the end zone for the touchdown. In 2010, Aaron Rodgers threw for nearly 4,000 yards and posted a quarterback rating over 100 for the second straight year. Greg Jennings racked up over 1,200 yards and scored 12 touchdowns. And against the 49ers, Donald Driver made one of the most memorable plays of his exceptional career. The Packers were 8-4 and, and rolling toward the playoffs. A division championship was within reach, but a loss in Detroit and the loss of Aaron Rodgers put the season in jeopardy. Scrambles 30, 35, straight ahead, 40, and he's knocked down across the 40-yard line. The Packers fell to 8-5, and five, and Rodgers would miss the next game. The Packers have not been a bigger underdog than they are in this ball game here tonight. Mike McCarthy told his team, we are nobody's underdog. With Matt Flynn at quarterback, the Packers played to win and proved their coach right. McCarthy and special teams coordinator Sean Slocum made a gutsy call to start the game. Here's the run up. And with a swing of his way, like it's an onside side. kick across the 40, up for grabs, and the Packers, Packers have it. Packers have it. Oh, my goodness. 
Green Bay controlled the Patriots up front, possessing the ball for over 40 minutes. Fling plenty of time, throws the right side, jumps yeah. down the sidelines, and he's gone! 20, 10, 5, touchdown! The Packers lost the game, but learned they could compete with the league's best on the road, something they would have to do in the playoffs. Getting into the playoffs was another story. As far as playoffs go, the Packers have their destiny in their own hands if they were to beat the Giants and Bears in the next two home games. Rodgers was back, and he threw for over 400 yards and four touchdowns. He's got Jordy Nelson, 50, 40, 30, right sidelines, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! The Packers completed their sweep of New York by steamrolling the Giants. They forced six turnovers, including four interceptions of Eli Manning. What a performance all around by the Packers. Chicago had nothing to gain from a victory, but they played their starters in an attempt to keep their bitter rival out of the playoffs. Green Bay sacked Jay Cutler six times and intercepted him twice. Aaron Rodgers' touchdown pass was all the offense the Packers needed. Cutler with time. Throw the left side of the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Charlie Papra. Cutler back to throw. Looking now he's hit. And he's set. Charles Woodson. The snap to Cutler. Stands. Man, it's never easy. Way to keep fighting defense, guys, all the way through. Great job today, all right? We are in Philadelphia Sunday at 4.30. We're in. We're in. That's all that matters. Get in, anything can happen. And I mean anything. Winning in Philadelphia meant playing the Packers brand of football with the intensity and identity they had established in the regular season. Keep that quarterback contained. Let's go. What is it? Ah! Yeah, baby! Wow, I was caught in seven! Getting to Michael Vick would take all 11 Packers. Surrounding. Swarming and scheming their way to the most athletic quarterback in the NFL. Vic under a blitz from Clay Matthews, hit and sack! Clay Matthews came up the middle with a sudden burst. Beat the Eagles right guard. Clay Matthews lined up in the middle, giving them different opportunities. He just beat him with quickness. Why, Vic, you can't come this way! The Packers' offense had balance. James Starks rushed for a Packers postseason rookie record, 123 yards. Back to the little swing, right side, got his man, touchdown, Crabtree! Aaron Rodgers threw three touchdown passes. Strings it out, left side, Jackson Good. picks up a couple of blocks. Good. Jackson to the five, to the end zone, touchdown! With Green Bay clinging to a five-point lead and time winding down, Come on, D. Vic took one last shot at the end zone. Gets the snap, steps, pump fakes, now airs it out. Intercepted! Jermon yeah. Williams! What oh, a finish. My goodness. Call the victory! Call the victory! Hey, enjoy it! Enjoy it fast! We're up in six days! Next! So Next. Next. Rodgers set his sights on the Falcons, the NFC's number one seed. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Georgia Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, for the NFC Divisional 
playoffs. Check this off our bucket list. Atlanta, check. I don't know what this. We about to fry them, bro. Seriously. We about to fry these guys, man. The Packers scorched Atlanta. Rodgers completed 31 of 36 passes for 366 yards and three touchdowns in one of the greatest performances ever by a Packers quarterback. Leaping attempt made by Jones. He's got it! Aaron Rodgers is picking this Atlanta defense apart. You know how we do it! You know how we do it! Tremont Williams picked off two Matt Ryan passes and scored his first playoff touchdown. Throws the left sideline. Intercepted! Intercepted. Down the sidelines, Tremont Williams. That boy A-Rod's a monster, man. He's a beast, bro. I gotta tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Not since Sherman came through this town in the Civil War has Atlanta been beaten as thoroughly as they have here tonight by Green Bay. You're the biggest rat king, man. You're the biggest rat king, baby. You lead us, baby. We're going all the way. Yes, sir. I like it. I like that. NFC Championship game, historic meeting between the NFL's two oldest rivals, the Chicago Bears, the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to roll to Dallas, baby. Mark my words. Let's go. Let's go. Never has it meant this much. It's Whoa. more important to us than it is to them. Let's go get it. Slamming right to the five, to the end zone. Reaching for the goal line. Touchdown. Touchdown. He's got it. The Packers' defense shut down the Bears' running game and forced three turnovers. The opportunity is knocking for the Packers' defense. Covered snap to Haney, throws it over the middle. After BJ Raji scored, rookie Sam Shields put the game on ice. Looking around in the pocket, throws it over the middle. There was just one game left. One more win, and the Packers would again be world champions. Hey, Mike, good luck in the Super Bowl, man. All right, go get it. All right, all right. Right here. All right. Cowboy Stadium, North Texas. No game bigger than this. The Packers were the first team since the AFL-NFL merger to go an entire season without trailing by more than seven points. They never trailed in Super Bowl 45. Jordy Nelson getting just a step, but that's all Aaron Rodgers needed with that pinpoint accuracy. Here's the snap, scans the secondary, throws it over the middle. Clark goes for the interception. He's got the play red. And how that guy got that ball in there, you never know. He is so good. All offense cannot be stopped. It's defense, baby. Let's go. It didn't go as well for Ben Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger pump fake short. Airs it out deep. Left side going for Wallace. Intercepted on the other throw by Collins. Right sideline to the 15 to the 10. Weaving his way to the 5. Leaping end zone. It's a touchdown. 
Howard Green, number 95, forced the interception. Number 58, Frank Zombo, recorded a sack. The game was a microcosm of the season. When injuries forced Donald Driver and Charles Woodson out of the game, their replacements delivered. Driver and Woodson, the two veterans this Super Bowl, probably means more to than anyone else. Both out. Number 24, Jarrett Bush, filled in for Woodson. Roethlisberger waits, throws it over the middle, intercepted by Jarrett Bush! Spill it, kick it! At the start of the fourth quarter, Clay Matthews made his biggest play of the game. And off to Mendenhoff. Oh, oh, the football. That's up for Clay Matthews. Oh, Green Bay football. As he'd done all season, Matthews played like an MVP. Several Packers did. With driver out, Jordy Nelson caught nine passes for 140 yards. Greg Jennings scored two touchdowns. And Aaron Rodgers threw for over 300 yards. champions tonight, right? When they needed him most, Rodgers delivered as perfect a pass as you'll see in any game, much less a Super Bowl. Rodgers throws the middle. Oh, and a beautiful spiral over the middle. What a conversion. Maybe the biggest of the season. Oh! Jennings' catch led to a field goal and a six-point lead. The defense needed one more stop to win the Super Bowl. Make a play now. Go, Make a play now. We legend. Let's go. Let's play. It will be up to the defense. Can't be the Super Bowl if it don't come down to this. Here's the snap. He looks. He throws. And there is your Super Bowl. There is only one title town. And here, just one trophy matters. By playing a winning brand of football in 2010, these Packers brought Lombardi home. One heartbeat, one purpose, one goal.